Hello, and welcome to this video walkthrough of Valley Art Center's 49th Annual Juried Art Exhibit. I'm the Gallery Manager, Dan Simone, and I will be your host through this tour of our most prestigious annual exhibit. Every year, this exhibit invites artists within 250 miles of Chagrin Falls to submit their work to be accepted by a panel of jurors invited from the prolific Cleveland area art community. This year, our jurors were Bellamy Prince, artist and owner of Deep Dive Art Projects and Editions, David King, artist and art educator, and Michael Weil, artist and director of Foothill Galleries of the Photo Succession. It was their job to view each of the almost 350 works received and distill them down to around 60 pieces to create this wonderful collection we are about to experience. They also allocated awards worth over $1,500, which I am honored to announce at the end of this video, so be sure to watch the whole thing. Now before we begin the tour, I have a note on content. There is a centuries-long tradition in the arts of creating works inspired by the human form. Often this involves representing the form nude. At Valley Art Center we believe that that is a necessary skill for artists to cultivate, and we often have life drawing classes where our students who are comfortable with it have the opportunity to work with nude models. I'm telling you this because this exhibit includes a semi-nude figure, and while we feel that the piece is not in any way salacious or pornographic, we recognize that not all of our patrons are comfortable viewing pieces that include nudity. To respect that, when we reach that piece in our tour, I will inform you so that you can decide if you'd like to see it or not. So with that, I'd like to again thank our jurors for their time and expertise in selecting these works, as well as our sponsors for this exhibit, Carnegie Investments and Hamlet, as well as the Ohio Arts Council and Cuyahoga Arts and Culture for their ongoing support. So let's begin the tour. We'll start with this piece by Bill Pappas, titled The Mobius Arch. This is an archival pigment print. Uh, it's you can see me a little bit. Hi, how are you doing? Next, we have this monotype by Lisa Schoenberg titled Leaf Shadow Play. Nature's Silhouette by Mary Alice Valvoda, original photo with digital textures and solarized. Classical Gas by Ann Berenger, and this is oil on canvas. I'm gonna pan around a little bit. We have a couple of more pieces in this hallway, gallery of ours. Here we have two enamels on copper by Amelia Joins. The top piece is Silent Snow, and the bottom piece is titled Earth Reflections. Interesting thing that Amelia does is this woven copper, which I imagine must be really difficult. Last in our hallway section, Lexington Horse Farm Digital Photography by Marcy Hayes. And with that, we'll proceed into the gallery proper. Okay, here we have Ripple Series by Deanna Bowdish. This is acrylic, watercolor paper, and resin on birch panel. Weeds at Froaring Meadows in Chagrin Falls, Ohio by Kate Olton. This is hand cut paper. Heaviness of Silence by Stephen Calhoun. Iterated photograph UV curable inkjet print on aluminum. Next is Cloud Mirror by Linda Meyer. This is a mixed media assemblage with reclaimed wood, metal, paper, fabric, paint, fibers, shells, LED lights. There's a whole lot going on in here. I'm going to get in a little bit close because there really is a whole lot going on in here. Incredible level of detail and workmanship. There we go. Such a small piece. 
Next is Balance Persists by John Sargent. This is oil on canvas. Step back so you can get the full view of it. Very nice, John. Next is Corona Series number seven by Stephen Mastroianni. This is a photogram, silver gelatin print. Try to ignore me in the uh, reflection there. Our next piece is Spiritual Kiss by Rick Rollenhagen. This is carved steatite. I hope I said that right. It's a really great vein running through this whole piece. It kind of really binds these two figures together. Take a peek at the back. Next is Clock Talk by James Soposa. This is acrylic on canvas. All right, we'll pan over a little bit past the corner. This next piece is titled Be All Right. I think we send that out to all of us here. Uh, this is by Kim Barnes and it is colored pencil and fabric. There's a lot of really cool textures happening with that fabric. It's got all this dimension. Next we have Bathing Beauties by Lee Heinen. And this is oil on canvas. Uh, correction, just beauties. And another piece by Kim Barnes, La Maestra. Again, colored pencil and fabric. This next piece is by James March. This is Binary Systems and the Geometry of Space, acrylic on canvas. Quite a lot going on in this piece. It's pretty cool. We have quilted bowl, wood, uh, maple burl, lathe turned, pyrography, carving, and this is by Reinhold Freebertshauser, who is a perennial um, artist in this annual exhibit. And next we have Suspended by Carol Stevens, Watercolor Gouache on Yupo. Okay, I've reset here so you can get a sense of scale for this piece. This next piece is called Food uh, by David Shankland. It is carved wood, an old um, cypress telephone pole. And just look at the detail in this face, all the wonderful graining in the wood. You can see there's a lot. There's a lot of masterful work going on in this piece, as in Molly's pieces. So next up, we're going to walk over here. Here's another piece by Reinhold Freibartshauser. This is called Winged Bowl. It is wood, again a silver maple burl and walnut, lathe turned and carved. And there's just all this going on on here. So really cool. This next piece is Ophelia.29 by Robert Wright. This is oil on canvas. Platform Between Realms by Susan Snipes. Oil in cold wax medium on canvas. Two pieces from the Hush series by Kimberly Chapman. We have Double Talking Dolores. around so you can see all this interesting work and texture and budding head Bertha these are porcelain clay with glaze up from them we have identity by Michael Steinberg this is a photographic print and finally on this wall 
The Meeting by Samantha Bias, Photographic Transfer on Skeleton Leaf. Try to ignore me. I do not look anywhere near as good as these pieces. All right. Okay, I've reset again to try and give you a sense of the layout of the gallery. As you can see, David Shanklin's and Kate Olton's and other pieces over there give you a frame of reference. Next piece is going to be by Gail Crum. This is a found object assemblage titled, We Are Better Than This. This is obviously speaking to the jailing of children in cages on the border. Okay, a little bit of a pan here. Next we have another found art assemblage by Gwen Waite. This is titled Cowboys in Stereo. You can see uh, Gwen really does a great job of creating these pieces all these interesting pieces hanging off and as my friend Mary Urbis would say all those wonderful shadows next is over under bridges by Coleman Rosenberg this is an archival digital print and another piece by Coleman titled blacksmith shop again archival digital print This is an acrylic monoprint with woodcut print on Bristol paper by Bill Fleming, titled Portrait Series, Red-Bellied Woodpecker. Chain Reaction by Patty Flaudo, acrylic paint and graphite on canvas. We're gonna look down here for a minute at a piece by two pieces, one entry by Lynn Lofton, titled Magical Offerings. Earthenware. Let's take a look at all this detail that Lynn puts on her bases. There's really some incredible patterning. There we go. Okay, so the next piece is going to be by Judy Takis. And as I mentioned before, this piece does contain some nudity. So if you'd like to pause and maybe skip ahead a few moments, this would be the time for that. Or you can just step away while I narrate. This piece is entitled, Venus de Milo Arms Herself, by Judy Takis, it's oil on canvas. Next up is The Scarf, Copenhagen, by Ellen Smith. This also is oil on canvas. Moving on to Nightlife, by William Walker. This is weaving, specifically a double weave. I really love the treatment of the reflections on what I'm assuming is water. Next is Starling and Moth by Rin Clark. This is a photographic composite on metal. There's a lot going on in here. I only have a novice's understanding of Photoshop and all the layering and stuff, but Holy cow. That's worth looking at. Next is Wise Queen by Barbara Martin. And this is scratch board with collage and vintage frame. Panning down, we'll take a look at Bees by Daniel Grantham. This is black ebony and yellow heartwood. I think these are just adorable. Next up, here we have our Bathing Beauties by Jill Yannick. These are graphite, watercolor, and caustic acrylic, and hand-cut paper. It's a lot of fun happening here. I'm really thinking I perhaps need to get myself a rubber ducky someday. Or perhaps not. 
We're going to step back and pan down a little bit to O oh, Bring Us the Figgy Pudding. This is Polymer Clay Fabric and Found Object by Ron Krakowski. And there is a ton happening in this piece. Pretty sure that's the figgy pudding. I've never actually had figgy pudding. I, uh, I guess we're getting to the time of year where I should maybe try and find some. Sounds kind of sweet to me though. Let's take a walk around. All right. There we go. Next, we have a piece by Leon Snow. This is Pencil and Ink. It is entitled Black Cats Infiltrate the Orange Schmackaroons. Next we have Early Morning Dream by Dennis Mastrangelo. This is a cut paper collage. Salary 3 by Deborah Silver, cotton, hand woven. So colorful. Panning down, we have another piece by Daniel Grantham. This is Poplar. American Bullfrog Polywogs. Oh my knees. This next piece is by Laurel Herbold. It is entitled Fish Lips Acrylic on Canvas. You can see that little red dot down there. That means this piece is sold. How did that happen, Dan, when the exhibit isn't even open, you ask? Well, Laurel was promoting her piece and celebrating that she got into the exhibit. And somebody saw it and contacted us about purchasing it. So artists, promote, promote, promote. It can work for you too. Next up, another Gwen Wade assemblage. This is Let Me Count the Ways. Oh, the shadows. It's like extra texture for your home. Next we have a piece titled Nix by Thomas Jackson. This is oil on canvas. Man on the Street by Missy Ballin. This is also oil on canvas. Chinatown, again by Thomas Jackson, and again, oil on canvas. Another mixed media assemblage by Linda Meyer. This one's titled Library Scene. Let's get in there a little bit. So you can see all the carefully wrought details that Linda imbues these pieces with. There's a stairway with some baskets and a mirror back there. And over here we have if I can see, there we go. Some little wrapped packages. There's just so much happening. Next, Red Pants by Lydia Bailey. 35 millimeter photograph. Phones by Roberta Kulber. Also a photo. Panning around, Lone Tree, Lake Erie by Susan Latch, photography. We're going to pan down a little bit to check out two pieces by Carla Gasilo. This is a tack variation. Midfire Terra Sigillata. And not for use. Again, mid-fire, terra sigillata. 
cool stuff happen there? All the way around these pieces. Little bits of wire embedded in the sculpture. Let's see if I can get you to see those. There you go. All right. Next we have a digital print by Andrea Dawson. This is Reaching 2019. Petaluma, California by Larry Jacobson. This is gouache on paper. All right, I'm panning around again. Hold on to your hats. For two pieces by Michael W. High. Guarding the past, ceramic with oxide and stain. And the Scarlet Rabbit. Ceramic with underglaze, stain, emulsion, and oxide. I'm going to pan out for a little bit so you can get a sense of all these pieces as we put them up together. When we're hanging the show, we do put a lot of thought into how pieces are working together, what pieces go well together, so. Sometimes I worry that in the video walkthrough, those of you viewing from home might miss out on that. Alrighty. And with that, I'm going to pause, stop the video for a second, and we're going to go through the award winners. Congratulations to Linda Meyer for being awarded Best in Show in our 49th annual juried art exhibit for her piece titled Library Scene. First place is awarded to David Shankland for food. Second place is awarded to Laurel Herbold for fish lips. Third place is awarded to Reinhold Freibertshauser for quilted, quilted bowl. Congratulations to Michael Steinberg for being awarded this year's Elsie and Byron Lutman Award for his photographic print, Identity. And the winner of this year's Phyllis Lloyd Memorial Award for Abstract Painting goes to Patty Flautow for Chain Reaction. We also have several honorable mentions. These are pieces that the jurors felt were standouts in this collection, but there is no cash prize associated with these awards. Congratulations to Kim Barnes for her body of work with La Maestra and be all right. To Steve Mastroianni for Corona Series number seven. Samantha Bias for The Meeting. Ron Krigowski for Oh Bring Us the Figgy Pudding. Gwen Waite for Cowboys in Stereo. And finally, to Lisa Schoenberg for Leaf Shadow Play. Well, there you have it. Thank you very much for joining us on this virtual walkthrough of our 49th annual juried art exhibit. If you would like to view the works in person, our gallery is open during our normal business hours, 10 to 4, Monday through Friday, and Saturday, 10 to 2. We are still observing social distancing and a limited building occupancy due to the coronavirus safety precautions. So if you do come on, on in person, 
may have to wait for other groups in the gallery to move through. You can always call us and schedule a time or inform, let us know that you're coming. Additionally, on November 13th and 14th, we will be having a scheduled free tickets available from 10 to 8 p.m. on Friday the 13th and from 10 to 3 p.m. on Saturday the 14th. You can sign up for any of those time slots on our website. Additionally, all of the pieces in this exhibit will be available for purchase on our website through the duration of the exhibit on the December 16th. Thank you very much again for supporting Valley Arts Center. Um, we hope to see you here very soon.